Hey everybody, um, today I'm back uh, with a not very interesting video, but perhaps one that will help someone else out um, who's trying to build up either a stock or a high performance Volkswagen engine. Um, I'm holding uh, a bearing right now, the main bearing, the so-called number one bearing that's going to go in my 2332cc engine case. Um, there's the number one bearing position closest to the flywheel. You can see the, uh, the dowel pin there and the oiling hole. Um, the bearing, this is a silver line bearing. Um, a lot of the bearings sold these days are made by silver line. Um, what I'm seeing here and others have um, gone before me, um, shout out to Bombero Bus who's done this already. Uh, anyway, what I'm seeing here, what you see on the bearing there is some grease that I've put on it. Notice there's a groove in the middle of the bearing. That's the oiling hole or the oiling groove. And uh, if you can see it here, I'm trying to hold the camera and point at it at the same time here. Let me see if I can get my bearing, uh, pardon the pun here, and photograph this, um, point to it. So right there, where my index fingernail is, there's, there's grease. Um, that is the result of me packing the oiling hole on the case with black grease and then pressing the bearing down into it. And what I was trying to do there is to see how far out that alignment of that groove, that oil groove is with the oiling hole in the case. And that little U-shaped area there, that's the grease, that gives you an idea of how much uh, the bearing would have blocked the oiling hole in the case. And that's not a good thing. I know that people are seizing these engines and I've paid too much as I'm sure all of you have to have this build seize on me so uh, I'm going to mark that with a sharpie and I'm going to take a um, I think Bombero was using a, a Dremel I'm gonna try something like that um, and uh, see if I can remove that material there so what I want to have happen is when the uh, engine is running and the oiling is uh, squeezing through that case hole that it finds its way into the groove and the bearing and um, also uh, once it's in the groove it's going to go in these oiling holes there's two oiling holes on the bearing those are what keeps the crank uh, from contacting the bearing uh, material and um, which would would cause uh, rapid increase in heat and friction and uh, would likely have me end up with a seized engine. Again, I've just put too much time and money into this not to do this right. So I'm posting this today. I hope this has helped someone or will help someone. Um, just be aware that these bearings that, that are coming out today, and again, this is a set of silver line, they leave something to be desired. I have not played around with a stock bearing to see um, <clears throat> like an old bearing. I don't have any currently. Uh, but it would be interesting to know how far those are out too with respect to the alignment of the case oiling hole as far as the groove and the bearing. So um, let me know if this helps anybody. I hope it does. Hope you guys are having a great day. You guys stay safe. God bless. And uh, I will keep you updated um, on the fun side um, of the engine plus the, the technical nitty gritty as I've tried to do here. Take care, everybody. God bless. Bye.